Hey guys, welcome to the Black Ops 3 Amber Ember trailer, guys. Anyways, I wanted to go over my thoughts, my ideas of what Black Ops 3 is to come. And I think this whole video of the trailer is just hints of what Black Ops 3 will be like in multiplayer and in campaign. So I'm going to break it down for you guys. I'm I did some still photos of the trailer. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Maybe it makes sense to you guys. I hope you guys do agree with me and if you guys did hit that do hit that like button and also share it with friends make sure they understand that I think I can predict what's coming up here in a couple of days where we're gonna watch the reveal the world reveal of Black Ops 3 anyways guys to get started we want to look at the baby pictures what it, this is what I'm thinking the newborns and the baby with the shades which is, this is what you're looking at okay is a transferring of memories from an adult military person to a child because the body can only last for so long even with in the video you know they can change the organ stuff but still the body dies and deteriorates so what they, what, what what if you actually could transfer your thoughts your memories from an old body to a younger body and start life all over again never really die your brain will always live your memories will always live your thoughts will always live so I'm thinking that's what it kind of is so basically it will be all the experience from Black Ops 1 all the way up to Black Ops 3 is kind of like just bringing the memories back. It's like it's never going to die. The guy who's starting it in World War 1 is going to finish it in, in Black Ops 3, whichever this is. Uh, but anyways, moving on. World Fastest Human. Uh, in fact, they actually gave her name. It was Shannon Adam or Shannon something. It was Shannon uh, Stevens, I think. Shannon Stevens. So I'm not sure if that might be a character name inside Black Ops 3. But the fastest human, which means you'd be able to run faster in Black Ops 3. They're giving you hints. The fastest human, faster in Black Ops 3, which means, again, larger maps. Picture larger maps. We always hated larger maps. Why? Because it takes frequently so long to get from one side to the other. What happens if there are larger maps, but you can run two, three times faster than what you did in Black Ops 2? Just something to think about. I definitely think that it's going to be in there. And also, too, you don't get tired. If you have robotic legs, how will you get tired if they're robotic? Never know. So you might be infinitely be able to run. Next, I want to go to the bionic arms, where I think this will be perfect for dynamic maps. I think Black Ops 2 started doing a little bit of the dynamic maps. Ghost went into it. Of course, uh, Advanced Warfare went into it with dynamic maps. But I think for sure, I mean, using these arms, you can punch through walls. Break through bricks, break down stuff, move cars, who knows. And also, too, what about recoil? Recoil on your weapons when you're shooting it. Are you going to be able to have recoil? On the video, it shows the guy shooting the gun and he had a little bit of recoil, but it's kind of hard to believe that if you have bionic arms and they're so super strong, how could there be recoil on the gun? So anyway, something to think about. Next, the hearing aid. Obviously, it's saying that having a great headset and some of that, you hear footsteps easier again. You're going to hear weapons farther away. The footsteps farther away. You're going to hear things. You're going to have better sound altogether. You're going to have bionic ears, pretty much. So I would believe that Black Ops 3 will have probably the best sounding system ever. Out of all the Black Ops. I think even Black Ops 2 had a very, very good. That's one thing I loved about Black Ops 2. You can actually hear people walking up to you. I think this Black Ops 3 is enhanced. It made it better. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Next, eye implants. They actually show the basketball player with the eye implants, which I'm actually loving the fact, but it's like instead of looking at a mini map in your top left hand corner, what happens if you had everything on the screen in front of you? What happens if it's kind of like a, uh, like halfway there? It's kind of like you can see it, but it's like a ghost. Or you can see through it, and you can see everything happening, but you can actually see the mini map, you can see how much ammo you have, all of the stuff is actually like in an eyes, eyesight type of view. There has to be some connection between the eye implants and Black Ops 3, which I think again is the mini-maps, UAVs, the weapons, anything like, again, like the thermal, the thermal UAV. Okay, well you have these these contacts in now, so you should be able to see things through walls and everything like that, so it should be interesting. Last, I'm pretty sure it's going to be last, is the sharing of memories. It's not going to be last. I have one more thing I actually did do it. The sharing of memories. Now, 
what happened if you actually just can share the memories from again this probably goes back to the baby thing but also with the teammates that you're playing with something that has to be sharing with memories also I'm thinking that maybe there might be a way that you can actually see or maybe even like press a button that makes you can look at your teammates eyes real quick to see what what's going on on the other side of the map then zap back to you who knows somewhere along those lines and at the very end of the video actually there's two more things very end of the video it looks like boost jump will be in there I'm not sure double jump will be in there but you definitely can tell that you're gonna be able to jump a lot higher in Black Ops 3 uh, again not verified or confirmed for multiplayer but it's something to think about guys I'm not too sure how I feel about it uh, but no double jumps so we'll see I'm not sure about dashing either who knows this is not an exosuit it's just limbs so it's not gonna you're not gonna be able I don't think you'd be able to dash in the air left to right you might be able to jump higher, but you're not going to be able to dash left to right in the air. And then also at the very end of the video, the guys, they show one of the stealth chopper or jets that's probably going to be a kill streak in Black Ops 3. So I want to put a picture up. I hope you guys are looking at it. It looks pretty sick. It's not the Warbird in Advanced Warfare. There's no propellers in the wings like the Warbird is. But it looks sick. It definitely looks futuristic. Can't wait to see if it's going to be a killing machine. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Also, if it's the first time you guys are subscribing, hit that subscribe button and also tell your friends all about it. Black Ops 3 info will be right here with you guys through me. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for some more information and more videos. And I hope you guys have a great day and great gaming. And I'll see you guys next time. See you!